it's hot today. It's supposed to get to 100 degrees today and we're uh, about noon and pushing 90. So trying to stay out of the sun as much as possible anymore today. Um, got a lot of things done this morning, but I wanted to take a minute and just go over the way I have my tips set up on the flow zone sprayer. So this video is literally all about the tips. Stay tuned, let's get started. So if you've been watching the channel, you know that Flowzone sent me this sprayer to try out and use and give you my opinions of. It's been working really, really well so far. I'm using it more and more um, all the time. In fact, I used it quite a bit this morning and I had the thought, why don't I make a video going over how I set up the sprayers and more in particular, the T-Jet nozzles for this sprayer. I run two T-Jet nozzles off of this right now um, and maybe I'll add some more in the future, we'll see, but I wanna show you what I'm running currently, how I'm tying it into the wand here with the Quick Connect, and just maybe provide some helpful information for you in case you're looking for a similar setup. This will give you a little bit more insight as to what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put links in the description to as much of this as possible uh, so that you can have some resources to find these products. Um, if you're interested in using T-Jet nozzles, those will definitely be in the links below. And then as much of these extra pieces to attach it all will be down there as well. So I'll just go ahead and break these down and get started. I am using two T-Jet nozzles, like I said. This is more of a fine mist nozzle, the shorter tip. The longer tip is an air induction tip to give you bigger droplets on the mist. That way, when you're using products that you're wanting to get down into the soil, like humic products, root growth products, stuff like that. This is gonna come out in bigger droplets and work its way down into the canopy of the grass rather than something like this that's just gonna give you a fine mist that's more suitable for probably a foliar application. All right, so we'll start with the Quick Connect fitting. Uh, obviously the Quick Connect is gonna attach to the wand on the sprayer. And then you have a half inch female inlet here that's gonna accept this elbow piece. So the elbow is gonna screw in to the quick connect adapter. Then from there you have a half inch male and there I like to add a filter. So I've got a small filter that's gonna sit right in there like that. So then the actual tip is gonna slide just into this half inch locking bolt here and then the, everything's just gonna connect like this. So you'll just tighten this up as good as and snug as you can and then make sure that the tip is rotated so that it is going to spray a nice mist out in the right direction. So you will just want to check to make sure that, that this is straight here with this as best you can. Tighten everything up and just like that you're ready to go. And that's all it is. So yeah, it's really just that simple. The hardest part, honestly, is tracking down the parts. So I'm gonna do my best to make sure that everything's down in the link in the description for you uh, so that you have access to all of that and you can get whatever you need. Make sure you check all the information in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know if this was helpful. If it was, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just do it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.